this is this is the complex, slow process that I always wish was linear, but it's not. Sometimes development and helping people is not linear. Sometimes it's forward motion, but forward motion might mean you're going back a little bit, or you're going deeper, and that's, I think as fundraisers, that is the most difficult, scary time, is when you are making progress in ways that can't be visibly seen. One thing we cannot seem to escape is the fact that water is life. But more importantly, it must be safe water and it must be clean water. And we had an experience on yesterday where we had the opportunity to visit a very, very young family. And as we came upon that family, we realized that the woman, the wife, was six months pregnant and she already had three children. Now in this particular culture, the woman has the responsibility of making sure the family has access to water. So what does that mean? That means she must walk to the nearest water well or the nearest access point to water. And what we found on yesterday we found a woman that was six months pregnant and had to walk barefoot to a place of water, but that water was not safe and that water was not clean. And it was heartbreaking because as a woman who was six months pregnant, she had to dip down into that well of dirty water and then carry that water back to her family. So I was asking how many people use this uh, shallow well. She says almost everyone around this uh, village draws water from here. He says water is very important, but um, for fear of uh, having a miscarriage to the hard labor and work, I just end up drawing water from the shallow well right here. It was heartbreaking because the possibility existed that in a moment she could trip, she could fall, and she could miscarry that child. Water is life, New Psalmist. Water is everything to these communities. Without water, her babies are not able to be healthy. Without water, they cannot wash their utensils. Without water, they don't have fresh water to drink. Without water, there is no real life. And I handle wash in, uh, in communities, institutions such as schools and uh, healthcare facilities. So in communities, we want to ensure that uh, families access clean water within a radius of 500 meters, or at least if it has to take time, within 30 minutes, they should be able to go and draw water. We had the opportunity to visit another family, and we saw that World Vision was involved in changing this family's life. And that family had access, and they had access to clean water because of World Vision's intervention. But the sadness of this particular story was that this new family that we met today lost a child as that mother went to access water and her baby drowned. So World Vision coming in allowed that mother to not have to re-experience the trauma of going to the same well that she lost her baby in. But World Vision allowed them to have a new access point, access to clean water, access to water that was now refreshing and restoring her family, her children. They looked clean, they looked healthy. Her family was prospering. And because her family was prospering, the community was beginning to prosper. New Salmas, water is life. Safe and clean water is life. And so it's a privilege for us to be here and for you to be involved in changing lives in Zambia. These past two days have been bringing up the theme of empowerment and even equipping. We've seen how um, with the children uh, and their choosing, they empower them to make a decision about who their sponsor is, is 
but often you hear them talk about they're preparing the future leaders of tomorrow. And so it starts with this one choice about their sponsor, but it's equipping them for the future of making decisions that could uh, change the world one day um, as they take leadership and grow. Um, and even as we met the different people uh, throughout the time, they've been empowered to take things um, into their own hands in terms of how they could provide for their families. So in 2018, uh, World Vision was able to give us the goats, uh, the number I mentioned that is 200. So those goats have increased. I think you remember the 200 at first and the 150. So that's 350 goats. So they multiplied from 350 to 22,000 now. <laughs> So he says, we are, we are very grateful for this innovation. As you witnessed, we have one of the farmers who talk. As I'm talking right now, my life has changed, has completely transformed because I'm now able to take my children to school. There's no more hunger in my household because of these very goods. We, we, we are eating normally. My children are going to school and the, I'm smiling all the time. We have a lot of farmers around this area that have benefited from this, this world project. And as I'm talking to right now, it's a very rare situation to find a child right now here who is unable to go to school, a child right now here who can walk barefooted, a child right now here who cannot have the normal meals. Children are eating, life has changed, uh, lives are being transformed, there's unity in families and all that. So a lot has changed that I cannot even mention right now, right now in your presence. Thomas, we are here in Zambia. We just met uh, one of the World Vision success stories, Mr. Shaw. Mr. Shaw, literally, I'm, we're on his property. Um, it's literally dozens and dozens of acres of property. He has taken the knowledge that World Vision has presented him and now given literally his entire family and the community an opportunity to be prosperous, successful, and he has a sustainable business here. He has cattle, he has gardens where he grows his own food. He has a water source that is sustainable. Uh, he actually has piping for his system that only took him a year, a couple weeks actually, uh, to get the piping in. But the whole system, um, literally from not having anything to getting to where he is now, he said it took him only like two years to make all of this happen. Because like where I am this time, I can say I'm a living testimony. Uh, as I said, uh, I was a reject in the family. And such that they had to chase me away. It's okay, you can go wherever I want to go. But where can I go? It's good that I have got a piece of land. Then I'll be here. Though I'm a nuisance, but I'll be here. But I didn't know that God was preparing something for me. Whoever I visit, they never have to go. But through the trainings, I really thank God that I met this man, this man. And everyone here in the world So it has really changed the story. Yes. So this time we thank God for everything. Because we, we are following the right channel. I was almost lost. And now I'm in the light. Uh, New Psalmist, it is amazing to see this work and to be able to see the transformation that actually takes place. We got to meet with a local pastor and his congregation. We had them sing to us, but they spoke to us about the transformation since World Vision came in 2010 and how when World Vision came, they needed everything from World Vision. And today, they don't need as much from World Vision. They have a sustainable community. They have a healthy church. They have a clean church. And people have seen the work of God through the work of World Vision right there in the church. And it is hallelujah that World Vision has taught us a culture for working together. Move around this place, you find cooperatives, you find clubs, saving groups where people are working together, putting their resources together and empowering each other. And for the church, that is a plus. Because I know there's a tithe coming. I know there's an offering coming. I know we are building the church. I know we are going to move to another level. 
empowered family is an empowered church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank God for World Vision. Thank God for you and your gifts and your, your kindness and your generosity. Bishop Thomas has been amazing in giving us the vision for this. And we as followers, as his congregation, as his flock, um, we have done an amazing job serving the people here in Africa. So thank you, New Psalmist. Everything you do counts. Um, to be chosen is, is a blessing from God. Oh,